Morning. The BBC is not acting impartially by caving in to Tory MPs who are complaining about Gary Lineker. They've got this one badly wrong, and now they're very, very exposed, as is the government, because at the heart of this is the government's failure on the asylum system. And rather than take responsibility for the mess they've made, the government is casting around to blame anybody else. Gary Lineker, the BBC, civil servants, the blob. What they should be doing is standing up, accepting they've broken the asylum system, and telling, telling us what they're going to do to actually fix it, not whinging on about Gary Lineker. Well, this feels like a complete mess and it feels and looks to me like the BBC is capitulating to a Tory inspired cancel campaign of a presenter whose opinions expressed not on the BBC. They, they just don't like. And I think the BBC has to be really careful here that actually they're doing the opposite of holding up impartiality and they're actually going against their own uh, intention to be impartial by looking like they're kowtowing to a government and conservative uh, ministered in inspired campaign to take Gary Lineker off air. Actually I don't agree with his analogy there at all and I, and I think it was probably in a, ill advisable of, of him to have said it in those terms um, but I do defend his right to to express it not least because he is a sports presenter, not a news presenter, uh, expressing uh, these views, not on the BBC, but on his own uh, social media account. And I think the same people who are crying for impartiality today were not crying for impartiality when the BBC chair, who is now someone overseeing this whole fiasco, uh, was found to have failed to inform Parliament of his uh, personal involvement in securing a loan for the Prime Minister who then went on to appoint him. So I think overall, this is leaving the BBC in a very difficult position that it looks like it is jumping to the tune of government demands and of ministers' demands, and that's exactly the opposite of impartial. Well, I think it's, it, it's especially today, as we sit here today, it is really hard to see how these big decisions that the BBC are making are not being influenced by pressure from the government of the day. Whether that's immediate pressure through cancel campaigning as they're doing around Gary Lineker, or whether that's uh, policy pressure by threatening, which they, the government are at the moment, by threatening the very future of the BBC by abolishing uh, the licence fee. All of these political pressures are of course, I think we all feel, are taking their toll on the BBC. And that's something that I think is a, a very worrying. It's the wrong direction of travel and something that Labour would seek to address because the independence of the BBC, the BBC as a universal public service broadcaster is so important to uh, bringing our country together, to what we are known for around the world, to our vibrant creative industries ecosystem in this country. And it needs restoring and it needs restoring quickly. Got a train to catch. To well, I've heard that there's been some different competing and conflicting reports on this. So obviously this is just a matter for Gary Lineker and for the BBC. But my concern is that really the focus on this is being used by the government, both to find someone to blame and also to distract from their own serious failures on policies and the fact that we've just not seen a strong enough and a big enough new agreement with France, given the challenges that we face. I wouldn't want to silence anybody's opinions. I know he'll argue that he's not a politics presenter or a news presenter or so on, but he's clearly overstepped the mark here. I mean, what he said was grossly offensive and he doesn't seem to be showing any contrition for that whatsoever.
Well, I, I think, it, look, it's a, it's a tough one. Uh, I mean, personally, I share his views, but obviously, you know, when you work for a public institution, they need to control their image, and it's, it's hard to, um, I mean, differentiate between somebody's personal views and, and the corporation's views. So I understand they want to try and control what people say on social media because it doesn't re represent the house view, but at the same time, you know, there's freedom of expression and everybody should be able to, to express what they think. Not a news reporter, where I suppose that that might be a different issue, but um, I think the BBC is overreacting. Uh, BBC has been very controversial of late, of late, of late, for many years, with their association with a particular side of politics. Uh, on the very same day this controversy is going out, there are actual articles being published on the BBC website itself, Bye. speaking about the cancellation of a TV program from a well-known personality here in the UK for fear of hurting a certain side of a politic scene here in the UK. So, I'm not too sure what's that controversy about. Well, I think he's entitled to his free speech, you know, outside his job, and uh, he didn't do it during a show. And, um, you know, we should might as well just cancel Mock the Week and other, other political satirical um, shows. Caroline, as we know, has been uh, one of the best presenters, been a great football player for the country, has been, uh, 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 shall we say, a teacher for, the, for young children. Um, it, will be, it will be really a shame because not only Gary Lineke will, uh, will leave and the rest, of, uh, the rest of the guys working with him. So it's really, it's, it's really a shame that perhaps maybe they made a mistake on the, on the comment that they made by the de de decision of the government. Uh, it will be a loss, it will be a loss for the country, it will be a loss for a, young, a lot of young kids, a lot of sport people like myself, which, uh, you know, I, I follow football, I go to any time, any games do I manage to go. Uh, locally in Fulham, uh, I go to watch Fulham, I go to watch Chelsea, so it will be a big loss. And uh, I met uh, Gary Lineker person on a few occasions, because the daughter used to go to school around the corner, so when I had the cafe in the park, I met him, I met him, a few coffees for the guy, lovely guy, beautiful. You know, when you work for a public institution, they need to control their image, and it's it's hard to, um, I mean, differentiate between somebody's personal views and and the corporation's views. I think the BBC is overreacting. Well, I think he's entitled to his free speech, you know, outside his job, and uh, he didn't do it during a show. Uh, BBC has been very controversial of late, of late, of late, for many years, with their association with a particular side of politics. Morning. Morning, Gary. How do you feel about the controversy that's been... Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary.